From the home of the 12s, they raised the banner just a moment ago. We are set for football at Lumen Field here a mile south of downtown Seattle. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. And their coach told us the other day that they wanted to get him in a nice groove right out of the gate. And one way to do that, give him quick throws where he can get the ball out of his hand in a hurry, as he did there. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and three. A first run now for Kyron Williams. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Let's face it, when you have a guy who can pick up those types of runs and keep the chains moving or stay ahead of the chains, you're making everyone else on offense happy because you're opening things up to allow for a whole lot of different play calls. There's Stafford. That's to the second-year man, Puka Nakua. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Here's Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it brings up third and five now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 23. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Stafford now to throw. He's got Cooper Cup on the slam. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Second down and three. To the air again, Stafford. Throws to his man on the out route. It's complete. That's Robinson. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. From the gun, here's Stafford. This is caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. On second and goal, standing alone in the backfield is Williams. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now it's Stafford. 
And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. A costly penalty there. A lineman got downfield, and for the moment, that cost him six points. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Kyron Williams taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Rams are on the board first here this afternoon. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. They'll fake it. Now Smith. They'll find his man, LaVisca Chanel. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, a 22. Defense gives up a touchdown in the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Now Smith. He's going to get this complete here to lock it. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Last play, they went over 20 yards. This time, they topped 30. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Smith. That is caught. Touchdown, Seahawks. LaVisca Chanel from four yards out. And the Seahawks respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself, no reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point up and through by Myers. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. As they've got it as we resume action. In motion, the tight end. Back to throw, Stafford. That's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, they can put him in a number of different places, in line, H-back, put him in the slot. In this case, they put him out wide. Matchup nightmare. Who are you going to send out to cover him? And he picks up a first down with that catch. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Stafford. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Trey Brown. Inside the 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Myers connects on the PAT. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. The extra point now coming from Myers. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he'll be stocked up at the 25. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. And the Seahawks add a couple of extra DBs going with the dime look here. Indeed, six on the field. Stafford. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Out of the gun, Stafford. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Now Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Stafford looks to throw again. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. Throwing is Stanford. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams fighting through. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Now Stafford. He finds Robinson, and he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, minicamp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as a tackle made at the 15-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Pass complete there to Nakua. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Here's Stafford. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Colby Parkinson from 10 yards out. And the Rams get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Extra point right down the middle. And they're back with it a touchdown at 21-14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. No receivers open, so he was forced to put that one into Puget Sound. That's a great job defensively blanketing those receivers, and ultimately, a smart idea by him just to get the ball out of there. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Geno now to throw. That's going to be caught. It's Shimon. 
Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Now Gino. Throw out wide to Walker. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now second and five. Throwing is Smith. This complete to Lockett. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Again, Smith. And this will be caught by Brown. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. Myers' kick is good, and the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. Out of the end zone comes Smith. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Stick it with Walker on second down. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Walker now on first and ten. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. From just shy of midfield, here's second down and seven. They'll fake it. Now Smith. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. They tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. 
Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Now here's Michael Dixon. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Here's Smith to return it. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and ten. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford going up top for Cup. That's caught inside the 20. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. A big play there for L.A. 52 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the gun, here's Stafford. Caught on the slant. A gain of nine there. Sets up second and goal. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. On second and goal, standing alone in the backfield is Williams. He'll get it up the middle, and he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Kyron Williams, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Rams have cut it back within a score. Sometimes offenses can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. Over the middle, he's got Chanel. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 23 yards on the play. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Yes. 
From the gun, it's Walker. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. From a couple of yards beyond midfield, here's second and eight. Here's Smith. Over the middle here to Brown. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 38-yard line. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Up the middle they run, it's Walker. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now Smith. He lets it fly for Lockett. And it's knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Throwing now is Gino. Buying time. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the second time. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. 73 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. Two yards on the pickup there, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and eight. Off of play action, here's Stafford. This one swung out to Williams. So the completion good for just three. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Stafford. And the Seahawk defense gets to him and they bring him down. Draymond Jones able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. 
And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 37 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Eva, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. This is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more plays, right? Clock's going to go. But his thought process is getting into the end zone. It's counterintuitive for him to actually go down in this spot. Yeah, but you, like you say, you don't want to get in the end zone. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Kenneth Walker. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Seahawks get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Stafford now to throw. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Now it's Stafford. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, Everything coming from up above. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Stafford now to throw. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. Draymond Jones in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here comes second down. Now Stafford. 
Throw out wide is incomplete. The nice thing is that you've still got all your timeouts in the middle of the field. That should still be an option, especially if you see the defenders pinching the sideline. You can run a little seam route right here and pick up some nice yardage. No tougher place to be in a spot like this than Seattle. Here's third down. Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Who wants it more? This is fourth and a yard. Here we go with Williams. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. At first glance, I actually wasn't sure that he got it, but he ended up getting it by about a full yard. He certainly did, but it took a little effort, didn't it? Took some nice push, a little crease inside, and some determined running to make sure that he got the first down. Throwing a Stafford. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. To throw is Stafford. Looking left side and it's complete. The Rams gonna go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Here it is, fourth and inches. Here we go on fourth, Stanford. That's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Here's first and ten. Stafford. One last shot at the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Yeah, good coverage there in the end zone, and it's been like that all game long. And now, down two scores, I imagine they'll try again, but it'll just be for posterity's sake. They'll come up now on second down. One last throw here for Stafford. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. Oh, what a performance. All those points put on the board. And Charles, it wasn't just by the offense. The defense put some points on the board as well. They were solid today. Yeah, it was a complete effort to secure the win in both sides of the ball made big plays but how demoralizing is it when the opposing defense can take one all the way back against you and that was the case here that really sparked them to victory so that'll do it for us for charles davis and all our crew i'm brandon gordon you've been watching the nfl on ea sports it's a win for the seahawks here as we say so long from seattle